Alright, so Justice League, Zack Snyder's Justice League is releasing on HBO Max, uh, two countries that have HBO Max this Thursday, and uh, I kind of figured that they would release a trailer, but um, we've seen a lot of things so up to this point. Uh, this is probably the last trailer that they'll play. Maybe like they'll have like small 30 second previews or something, but um, this is official trailer 2, and it looks like they're pulling out all the stops to kind of get people to subscribe to HBO Max. So let's take a look at this. And let's see what Zack Snyder still has to show us in a trailer. So begins the end. For dark time. I've never seen a being this strong. Maybe one. He's back. Nice. Are they going to focus a lot on dark side? I spent a lot of time trying to divide us. I made a promise to him on his grave. Hmm. I need to bring us together. There are enemies coming from far away. They serve an old power. This world is divided. Oh, no extended, extended flashback? No lanterns. No Kryptonium. I think that was Zeus and a Green Lantern. Fall in his name. I have turned the world to dust. All of existence shall be mine. Oh, that voice. I have a second chance. The age of heroes will never come again. We're fighting the devil and his army. You know, I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us united. It's time to stand. Fight. The time is now. Mm. Coming out on Thursday, HBO Max. So, um, there's a few new things that we saw. Um, obviously, they're focusing a lot on coming of dark side which is DC's kind of one of DC's more primary villains um, we get a good look of him here we hear him too hear him speaking but uh, yeah we have dark side and then maybe they're gonna explain better what the mother boxes are uh, what else do we see um, we did see dark side uses Omega beams which is ooh, I'm kind of wondering uh, if to actually fight him in this. I mean, it's a four hour cut of Zack Snyder's original vision, which makes me beg, which kind of begs the question, um, is it just his original vision? Or I'm assuming he's gonna add in things that he um, maybe thought about after the fact. So he's adding them now. And I'm surprised that, you know, WB gave him the budget to do reshoots and like complete his movie. It's a big risk for the studio, but I mean, if it gets people subscribing to HBO Max, then that would be a good business decision. But the movie itself, um, it looks like more cohesive, more complete idea of what Snyder was trying to bring uh, with his original Justice League, plus with like added kind of um, afterthoughts, I guess, which is nice. Uh, so we're gonna see obviously they're gonna have to team up again and I think uh, you know Steppenwolf hopefully the battle with Steppenwolf won't be as um, 
What's the best way to describe it? it won't be as diluted as the as we got with the theatrical release that was a mess. But um, seeing the actual team fight together, one like prime example is how the difference between how Diana fought Steppenwolf alone on that bridge in the last kind of third act versus her and two other allies fighting with her. So it's kind of reinforcing that um, uh, aspect of how the Justice League is united, not so much, you know, individuals who are like trying to do things their own way. I guess in a way they are, but they ha they're like kind of forced to uh, come together, I suppose. You know, they're a team, so. But overall, uh, there's something about uh, the aesthetic that Zack, Ni Zack Snyder brought to the DC films. I know that uh, Man of Steel and B Batman v Superman might not um, be everyone's cup of tea, but just like as like a um, film, like cinematography and like certain shots, how they frame shots and stuff, it's great. Like it's it's very pleasing to look at, I suppose. But um, hopefully the story won't have too m won't be lost too much in this cut. Um, I, I'm still wondering if they're gonna release everything all at once or if they're gonna if they are gonna do an episodic episodic format if they're gonna do it one at a time or if everything's gonna be released at once we'll see but uh, I'm pretty excited for this um, uh, I know maybe a lot of people are just like you know why is this coming out why are we you know getting a cut of the film that you know that might still be incomplete because um, originally the Justice League films were supposed to be two parts but maybe we'll get a complete one here so we'll see but what did you think of official trailer 2 um, what are your thoughts of this whole Snyder cut and Zack Snyder getting the chance to you know really um, complete his vision you know like the studio is really trusting in I guess the filmmakers kind of ideas and what he wanted to bring but will you be watching I know for a lot of us especially uh, us in Canada as well we don't have HBO Max so I kinda wonder how they're gonna distribute the film to countries that don't have HBO Max so we'll see but um, uh, as always thanks for watching another video uh, stay safe out there um, let me know all your thoughts about uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one peace